Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month I posted a video that new Windows 11 installations are turning on OneDrive backup automatically. And that video was met with a lot of debate and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen uh, if you would be interested. Now, as you may well know that Microsoft is no stranger to pushing ads and advertisements uh, in the Windows OS be that Windows 10 or Windows 11, because yeah, on the start menu, as I've mentioned previously, we now get the account manager, which advertises Microsoft 365. Now it seems that uh, Microsoft has begun displaying a pop-up now to promote Windows backup, which is another nag ad they are pushing into Windows 11. And if we just head over to a screenshot um, posted by Windows Latest, yeah, we can see that it says your PC is not fully backed up. So they carry on to say backup is not turned on for credentials and folders. Backup now to save them if something happens to your PC. You've got backup now or dismiss. Now this is quite an interesting little nag ad because it says your PC is not fully backed up. And it says backup is not turned on for credentials and folders. So this is really not in its in itself 100% and actually correct because if we head over to the Windows backup app a full backup would mean your folders apps settings and credentials where uh, from that announcement credentials and folders are not backed up only apps and settings in relation to apps the you know little preferences related to apps and settings so that's not really correct in and of itself and interestingly enough, uh, TechRadar, who are a media outlet, has actually suggested that Microsoft should consider making a promo center in Windows 11, basically to highlight the features and options that a user may have not enabled, as in this case, Windows Backup, in this example. So, um, so all those will be collated into one place. So maybe an app regarding... Um, to highlight features and options instead of Microsoft pushing these um, nag ads in your face. And uh, um, although that seems in theory a good idea, I think that's very unlikely that that will ever happen. It just doesn't seem to be um, the way Microsoft is moving over the last year or so. And as mentioned, um, there have also been several other ads in Windows, which I actually posted on about three months or so ago, where Microsoft had started showing a full screen Windows 11 nag ad about the end of support, upcoming end of support um, for Windows 10 next year in October 2025. And I'll also leave that down below and in the end screen. So there you have it. Another nag ad has found its way into Windows. And I'm sure once again, this will also be met with a little bit of debate. And I think I would favor you to go to the tech radar side that having a kind of hub for all these so-called little ads in Windows would be a good idea. Just removing, like as in this example, as well as I mentioned at the beginning, little nag ads like this, removing those out of your face and just making the operating system a little bit more um, thinned out, for want of a better word, and a little bit more functional without having all these, this information getting shoved in your face while you're trying to you know, go through a certain workflow on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.